Good night. We are on Thursday, the 8th of the 8th, 2024. It is just past 10 o'clock. It's about 6 or 8 minutes past 10 p.m. And I'm only now going to record the mass readings, the uh, liturgical readings for this day. It's also the feast day of St. Dominic, a great great saint, priest and leader. Yes, I love the Dominicans. Uh, so I'm just, just going to begin with a few prayers, evening prayers, and then into the readings. I've been tired all day, so it, it's not uh, unusual for me to be recording late. I just thought I might have more energy, but I'm still feeling tired. <laughs> It's just some condition I have currently. I think it's all the um, pressure on me. I no longer enjoy living in this building. I no longer like living here. There's a lot of noise in the day from banging doors, banging and uh, other noises and uh, drilling and it's not quiet anymore. It was, it sometimes is, but not always. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. O angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this night be at my side, to light, to guard, to rule and guide, Amen. And a prayer to Saint Michael the Archangel. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the night of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the other evil spirits, who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. And prayerful life. O Mary, bright dawn of the new world, mother of the living, to you do we entrust the cause of life. Look down, O mother, on the vast numbers of babies not allowed to be born of the poor whose lives are made difficult, of men and women who are victims of brutal violence, of the elderly and the sick, killed by indifference or out of misguided mercy. Grant that all who believe in your Son, Jesus Christ, may proclaim the gospel of life with honesty and love to the people of our time, obtain for them the grace to accept that the gospel as a gift ever new, the joy of celebrating it with gratitude throughout their lives and the courage to bear witness to it resolutely in order to build together with all people of goodwill the civilization of truth and love to the praise and glory of God, the creator and lover of life. Amen. And in temptation, Lord, save me, or I perish. Keep me close to you by your grace, or I shall sin and fall away from you. Jesus, help me. Mary, help me. My holy angel, watch over me. In trouble, in all things, may the most holy, the most just, and the most lovable will of God be done, praised and exalted above all for ever. Your will be done, O Lord, your will be done. The Lord has given, the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. And we pray for all who are sick, including myself. Lord, your will be done. I take this for my sins 
I offer up to you my sufferings, together with all that my Saviour has suffered for me, and I beg you through his sufferings to have mercy on me and all others. Free me from this illness and pain, if you will, and this tiredness, if you will, and if it be for my good, you love me too much to let me suffer, unless it be for my good. Therefore, O Lord, I trust myself to you. Do with me as you please. In sickness and in health, I wish to love you always, and in thanksgiving, my God, from my heart, I thank you for the many blessings you have given to me. I thank you for having created and baptised me, and for having placed me in your holy Catholic Church, and for having given me so many graces, graces and mercies through the merits of Jesus Christ. And I thank you, dear Jesus, for having become a little child for my sake, to teach me to be holy and humble like you, and for having died upon the cross, that I might have pardon for my sins and get to heaven. And also I thank you for all your other mercies most of all for those you have given me today. O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O Trinity of blessed light, O unity of princely might, the fiery sun now goes his way, shed thou within our hearts thy ray. To thee our morning song of praise, to thee our evening prayer we raise. The, thy glory suppliant we adore, for ever and for evermore. O Lord to God the Father be, O praise eternal Son to thee, O glory as is ever meet, to God the Holy Paraclete. Amen. And a reading from Psalm 16. Preserve me, God. I take refuge in you. I say to the Lord, you are my God. My happiness lies in you alone. He has put into my heart a marvellous love. For the faithful ones who dwell in his land, those who choose other gods increase their sorrows. Never will I offer their offerings of blood. Never will I take their name upon my lips. O Lord, it is you who are my portion and cup. It is you who are my prize. The lot marked out for me is my delight. Welcome indeed the heritage that falls to me. I will bless the Lord, who gives me counsel, who even at night directs my heart. I keep the Lord ever in my sight. Since he is at my right hand, I shall stand firm. And so my heart rejoices, my soul is glad, even my body shall rest in safety. For you will not leave my soul among the dead nor let your beloved know decay. You will show me the path of life, the fullness of joy in your presence, at your right hand, happiness for ever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And the... Uh, Scripture reading is from 2 Corinthians 1, 3 to 4. Let us give thanks to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the merciful Father, the God from whom all help comes. He helps us in 
all our troubles so that we are able to help those who have all kinds of troubles using the same help that we ourselves have received from God. Intercessions, may your kingdom of peace and justice be realised on earth as in heaven. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the world. We pray against nuclear war. And we pray for peace in all those countries where there's currently ongoing war and all those suffering from the consequences of it. Show yourself to all who seek you in sincerity of heart. Lord Jesus Christ, light of all the nations, shine upon those who walk in darkness and in the shadow of death. Be with all those who suffer in mind, body or spirit. Show mercy to the dead. Bring them to rejoice in the company of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all your saints. And together we say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. And hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O oh my God, I thank you for all the benefits which I have ever received from you, and especially this day. Give me light to see what sins I have committed, and grant me the grace to be truly sorry for them. O oh my God, because you are so good, I am very sorry that I have sinned against you, and by the help of your grace, I will not sin again. And on going to bed later, into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Lord Jesus, receive my soul. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ crucified, I lay me down to rest. Bless me, O Lord, and defend me. Preserve me from a sudden and unprovided death and from all dangers and bring me to life everlasting with you. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, Creator, come from thy bright heavenly throne. Come, take possession of our souls and make them all thy own. Thou who art called the paraclete, best gift of God above, the living spring, the living fire, sweet unction and true love. Thou who art sevenfold in thy grace, finger of God's right hand, his promise teaching little ones to speak and understand. O guide our minds with thy blessed light, with love our hearts inflame, and with thy strength which never decays, confirm our mortal frame. Far from us drive our deadly foe, our true peace unto us bring, and through all perils lead us safe beneath thy sacred wing. Through thee may we the Father know, through thee the eternal Son, and thee the spirit of them both, thrice blessed, three in one. All glory to the Father be, with his co-equal Son, the same to thee, great Paraclete, while endless ages run. Amen. And these have to be prayed every day. Put peace into each other's hands and like a treasure hold it amen 
And God of blessings in this year, give us a spirit of listening, of openness to your word, and longing for your kingdom as we journey towards the jubilee, a time of new beginnings. We pray for help and strength to heal our relationships with each other and all creation. Sing your song of love over us, renewing our faith and courage, so we may join our voices together, discovering new harmonies of hope, new melodies of reconciliation, alternative to the spirit, and awake attentive to the spirit, and wake to the needs, awake to the needs of the world. May we seek your life-giving presence as we join as one global family in great symphony of prayer and praise. Amen. Holy Michael Archangel, defend me in this day of battle. Be my safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, I humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust down to hell Satan and all the wicked evil spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. And finally, before reading sacred scripture, open my heart, O Holy Spirit, to receive your inspired word. Grant me wisdom to understand what you want to teach me and strength of will to follow wherever you lead. Come, Holy Spirit, guide us. Work in us with your gifts so that your presence may be shown and we may serve in different ways for the good of all. Amen. Now I'm going to share the liturgical readings for this Thursday, 8th of 8th, 2024. So it's ordinary time, year two, and this is the memorial of St. Dominic. He was a religious and priest and the um, leader of the Dominican who are still there. They're still teachers. They're great. They're all over the place. And uh, St. Dominic's in Downham, I'm going to on Saturday to help them celebrate because they prefer to do it on the weekend when all the parishioners can come. A reading from the book of Jeremiah, the prophet Jer Jeremiah, <coughs> chapter 31, verses 31 to 34. And the theme, I will make a new covenant and never call their sin to mind. A reading from the book of Jeremiah. See, the days are coming. It is the Lord who speaks when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Judah, but not a covenant like the one I made with their ancestors on the day I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt. They broke that covenant of mine, so I had to show them who was master. It is the Lord who speaks. No, this is the covenant I will make with the house of Israel. When those days arrive, it is the Lord who speaks. Deep within them, I will plant my law, writing it on their hearts. Then I shall be their God, and they shall be my people. There will be no further need for neighbour to try to teach neighbour, or brother to say to brother, learn to know the Lord. No, they will all know me, the least no less than the greatest. It is the Lord who speaks. 
since I will forgive all their iniquity and never call their sin to mind. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The psalm is Psalm 50 and my response and your response is a pure heart create for me, O God. A pure heart create for me, O God. A pure heart create for me, O God. Put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. A pure heart create for me, O God. Give me again the joy of your help with a spirit of fervour. Sustain me that I may teach transgressors your ways and sinners may return to you. A pure heart create for me, O God, for in sacrifice you take no delight burnt offering from me you would refuse my sacrifice a contrite spirit a humbled contrite heart you will not spurn a pure heart create for me O God Alleluia Alleluia Alleluia. The Lord is faithful in all his words and loving in all his deeds. Alleluia. 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 You are Peter and on this rock I will build my church and the gates of the underworld can never hold out against it. Alleluia. A reading from the Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 16, verse 13 to 23. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. And the theme, you are Peter, and I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Reading from Matthew 16. When Jesus came to the region of Caesarea Philippi, he put this question to his disciples. Who do you people say the Son of Man is? And they said, Some say he's John the Baptist, and some Elijah, and others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. But you, he said, who do you say I am? Then Simon Peter spoke up. You are the Christ he said, the son of the living God. Jesus replied, Simon, son of Jonah, you are a happy man because it was not flesh and blood that revealed this to you, but my father in heaven. So I now say to you, you are Peter and on this rock I will build my church and the gates of the underworld can never hold out against it i will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven whatever you bind on earth shall be considered bound in heaven whatever you loose on earth shall be considered loosed in heaven then he gave the disciples strict orders not to tell anyone that he was the Christ.
From that time, Jesus began to make it clear to his disciples that he was destined to go to Jerusalem and suffer grievously at the hands of the elders and chief priests and scribes to be put to death and to be raised up on the third day. Then taking him aside, Peter started to remonstrate with him. Heaven preserve you, Lord, he said. This must not happen to you. But he turned and said to Peter, Get behind me, Satan. You are an obstacle in my path because the way you think, you think is not God's way, but man's. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So for a few moments we'll reflect on that. So according to today's Gospel reading, just at the very moment when Jesus gave Peter a very special role as the rock on which he would build the church, Peter became not a rock but a stumbling stone, an obstacle to Jesus. Jesus knew that if he was to remain faithful to the mission God had given him, it would lead down the path of suffering and death. However, Peter tried to tempt Jesus to take an easier path. This must not happen to you. This was a very powerful temptation. And so Jesus had to confront it in a very uncompromising way. He turned to Peter and said, Get behind me, Satan. Peter, who had just expressed a wonderful insight into Jesus, a God-given insight. You are the Christ, the Son of the living God, is now addressed by Jesus as Satan. Peter, who was inspired by God at one moment, was being inspired by Satan in the next moment. Peter was a mixture of the good and the not so good. He was both a man of deep faith who could be entrusted by Jesus with a great responsibility and a man who could become a block to the work that Jesus wanted to do. And we're all a little like Peter. A mixture of wheat and weed, to use the imagery of one of Jesus' parables. After addressing Peter as Satan, Jesus did not take back on Peter's calling to be the rock on which Jesus' church would be built. Jesus continued to invest in Peter, to trust that he would turn out well in the end. Indeed, Peter went on to become a good shepherd and who laid down his life for his flock. Like Jesus, the Lord never gives up on us either, even after we fail him. He continues to invest in us. He keeps calling us to become the person he wants us to be and the help of the Holy Spirit ensures that. Yes, I love Peter. He's a very fascinating, lively character, isn't he? And I admire, I admire how how he did pull through in the end. I'm now going to share the prayers after the um, reading of sacred scripture and the evening prayer. Some days we pray more than others. Uh, that's how it goes. It's never planned. So I'm going to just look at the after reading sacred scripture. I thank you, Holy Spirit, for the word you have spoken to me through the treasure of the scripture. Make these words a living reality in my life. 
a constant guide, a lamp for my feet and a light to my path. Amen. Spirit of the living God, you alone search out everything, even the depths of God's intentions. Remain with us always that we may know all that God has freely bestowed on us, that we may rightly judge and value all things. Amen. Lead me, O Holy Spirit, that I may put to death all sinful thoughts and actions. Lead me, O Holy Spirit, that I may live as God's child. Lead me, O Holy Spirit, that I may be free from slavery to sin. Lead me, O Holy Spirit, that I may pray and cry out, Abba, Father. Lead me, O Holy Spirit, that I may possess the inheritance of grace that awaits me. Amen. Come, Spirit of Truth, and lead us to the whole truth. Speak to us of Jesus, so that we may speak of him to others. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, and help us in our weakness, for we do not know how to pray as we should. Intercede for us, so that the one who sees into our hearts and knows our thoughts may hear our prayers. Amen. Glorious Father, give us the Holy Spirit to make us wise so that we may come to know you. Enlighten the eyes of our hearts that we may know the hope to which you have called us, the rich blessings you have promised and how great is your power at work in those who believe. Amen. Lord God, Fill us with knowledge of your will. Through the wisdom and spiritual understanding your spirit bestows on your faithful ones so that we may conduct ourselves in a worthy manner. Be fruitful in every type of work and do always what is pleasing to you. Amen. A prayerful reading of scripture opens our hearts to hear God's call more clearly in our daily life by regular reading and reflection on the words of scripture we allow ourselves to be challenged moved and enlightened as our soul is fed and nourished by this word we can grow in a deeper understanding of the things of God and God's plan for us. He has a plan for every one of us. Before reading scripture, pause for a moment, relax and quieten your mind. Direct your thoughts to the Holy Spirit who dwells within you through your baptism and confirmation and who will accompany you as you pray. Come, Holy Spirit, open my heart to receive God's word. Enlighten my mind to understand it and reveal to me the things of God. Strengthen my will to follow your guidance and help me to bear abundant fruit for the kingdom of God. Amen. I'm now going to do the Glenstall Abbey. Thursday evening prayer and then we can all say God bless to each other and good night so in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit Amen evening praise for the light O joyful light of the holy glory of the immortal Father heavenly holy blessed Jesus Christ now that we have come to the sun's hour of rest, the lights of evening round us shine. We praise the Father, 
the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God. Worthy are you, O Lord, at all times to be praised with undefiled tongue. O Son of God, O giver of life, therefore you are glorified throughout the universe. One line from Romans 15, verse 13. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, so that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. The Word of the Lord. A reading from Psalm 61. In God alone is my soul at rest. My help comes from him. He alone is my rock, my stronghold, my fortress. I stand firm. How long will you attack me to break me down as though I were a tottering wall or a tumbling fence? Their plan is only to destroy. They take pleasure in lies with their mouth. They utter blessing, but in their heart they curse. In God alone be at rest, my soul, for my hope comes from him. He alone is my rock, my stronghold, my fortress. I stand firm. In God is my safety and glory, the rock of my strength. Take refuge in God, all you people. Trust him at all times. Pour out your hearts before him, for God is our refuge. Common folk are only a breath, the great an illusion. Placed in the scales, they rise. They weigh less than a breath. Do not put your trust in oppression, nor vain hopes on plunder. Do not set your heart on riches, even when they increase. For God has said only one thing, only two do I know, that to God alone belongs power. And to you, Lord, love, that you repay us all according to our deeds. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. A reading from the scriptures is 1 Corinthians 15, 20 to 22. But in fact, Christ has been raised from the dead. The first fruits of those who have died. For since death came through a human being, the resurrection of the dead has also come through a human being. For as all die in Adam, so all will be made alive in Christ. The word of the Lord. So we'll just have a silent pause for prayer and we'll pray for the world and all its people against all the evil that's created by Satan that evil evil archangel pray for the people who are in a war situation and sick and ill and hungry The Canticle of Mary, the Magnificat, and a, a line from Psalm 112. Who is like the Lord our God, the one enthroned on high, who stoops down from the heights to look down, to look down upon heaven and earth? A reading from 
Luke 1, 46 to 55, the Canticle of Mary or the Magnificat. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Saviour. For he has looked with favour on his lowly servant. And from this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me. Holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and has sent the rich away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy the promise he made to our fathers to Abraham and his children forever glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end Amen the invocations Lord you have saved us from slavery to sin give us the freedom of your children help all who seek your light to find it let them be consecrated in the truth. We remember the widowed and the orphaned. Comfort them in your love. And together we say the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. The concluding prayer. Lord God, ever faithful, see us gathered before you as the day draws to a close. Confirm our hearts in your love and keep alive in us the memory of your goodness and kindness which have appeared in Jesus Christ our Lord and the blessing. May God be merciful to us and bless us. Amen. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. And the saint of, saint De uh, uh, of the day is Saint Dominic but I'll just check and see if there's any others for this day. And uh, it seems as if it's Mary, Blessed Mary McKillock. M M oh, this is for you, Deborah, in Australia. Blessed Mary McKillop. It's M-C-K-I-L-L-O-P. Australia, and it's a new nun compared to the rest that she died in 1909 so maybe I will try and look her up one day for you and read her life 
so it shouldn't be too difficult. It won't be in the butlers, but it might be in the more more modern versions of butlers. Thank you so much for listening. May God bless you and heal you. I'm sending you his peace in abundance. And may you always be happy and joyful in the Lord. And I'm praying for all your needs and our own needs as well. I've just got this terrible tiredness. I don't know what to do about it. It's awful. It's just awful. It's awful being tired. It slows you down. It's 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 like having a, a long term nightmare <laughs> being tired. But I do I do get through the tasks that one has, but on a slow, slow motion everything everything's in slow motion. Can't be helped though, can it? You're getting old, you will get into slow motion. It's it's a dreadful thing when you know that in the past, like twenty years ago you had lots of energy and <laughs> all of a sudden it's not there anymore so I will pray for you and your needs and for the world and I ask you to pray for me and uh, the environment I live in and for the people here that need prayer God bless you all thank you, bye bye, good night <laughs>